door. Next stop was the uproar. Yeah, it was like a week ago, but we both know how weekends go. Tryna talk, I've got some places we could go. Swear she got the deepest throw. Like, wow, she's blessed, I'm blessed. I don't G A F O S. I'm tryna fall. Yeah. What's going on today, folks? We got ourselves the Voodoo Drag Box. I already know this product has not. This really has came out a while back ago, but I have not even reviewed it myself yet. So before I get started in this unboxing and um, tell you the specs of this, um, I was wondering if we can get uh, 30 likes on this video and hopefully 500 views. So, all right, let's just get this together. I got my handy dandy um, batteries here so I can show you what it looks like when it's turned on. So first of all, let's check the box out. Okay, we got the Voopy up top drag with the Genesis chip in it. Um, drag box is a 157TC water CC box, one USB cable. It's a warranty card in it and a user manual. And it has the warning stuff on it and it has a verifi verification code for the Voopy. So make sure it ain't no phony one. All right, let's go ahead and take this um, box off and look inside what we got here. Alrighty, let's put this behind this right here. There you go. Sorry about that coil on the side there. Alright, so we got the bot itself. Now, these colors are the resins. I don't know if it's water or plastic, but I know they have different ones. They always don't have the exact same color of the red or whatever. So they're all mixed. So if you get a Voopoo drag box, you're going to have a unique one every single time. Let's so go ahead and take the mod out of the box, set this to the side, see what else is in the box itself. So we got this little cover here, let's take that part, no need that, we got another one right here, take that out there like that. We got the warranty card, let's skip through it, there's nothing in the warranty card, I guess, I guess there's something wrong with it, you can take it back. And we got one USB charger, one USB charger, and the Vupu Dragbox user manual, let's just go ahead and glance through this real quick, nothing special. Okay, we got the warnings in the back of that. All right, then one more thing at the bottom of this. We got the powerful chip born for fever, Genesis chip. You can see this little card that's saying Genesis chip. Now you can buy these chips on eBay for $16 or $17 if you want to actually build a uh, mod with the Genesis chip in it. So let you guys know that. And, um, okay, let's put this all back right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. Doesn't give you too much of the offer, but it's a great, great mod. All right, I'm gonna give you um, some specs about this thing real quick. So, this is what it looks like. Turn it over. It's just an aluminum body, all aluminum, except this part is a plastic or wood. I have no clue what this part is. So this is what the front looks like. Looks like you got the up and down button and your fire button. And your fire button, it's not too big and not too small. And I think the, the up and down buttons are kind of small for me. You get, you got one USB charger. So you got that um, silver 510 that looks like it's a spring-loaded 510 down on their eyes also. Um, looks like there ain't no screws around the mod, so that's one of the pretty good things about me. I don't really like seeing screws, only for the 510 plate there. And we got the vent hole down here. We got the big drag letters all across that do let you guys know this does have um, a lot of scratches on it. So the back of it is really scratchy from what I've seen from other people. So the back of it, and it opens it up, whatever. So looks like you got glass here or metal, so it keeps from the battery from touching the other other piece of metal from the back side. So that's a it's a good thing. And we got the drag, just drag right on top of the battery tray up here, and we got the date and where it was made. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's put this back over like this. Let's talk about some of the specs or the rest of the specs. All right, it's a two point, it's a 18650 um, box, two bay box mod. It is battery size is 90.52.24 millimeter. Um, max output is 157. Resistance is 0 0.05. 3.0 3 voltage 0 0.5 through 1.5 TC and the connection thread in this like I said 510 and the weight of this thing is 315 grams so it's not that heavy 
Um, I don't think it's 350 grams with the batteries though. I think it's a little bit more than that. Um, that's, that's really about it. Sorry about the camera guys. It's a little bit over the place right now. Um, all right, let's go ahead and throw some batteries in this. Sleep start. The camera's kind of got on a camera, man. There you go. Sorry. All right. I do got my batteries here, right here. Right here, right here. <laughs> Funny. All right, so I got the um, homework. Ho works. Not homework, but ho works. Whatever you call these things. Open the back up. I like the back. It's super clean. You got this nice little pull strap here in case you want to get your batteries out of your mod when you want to charge them. Um, this does have a DNA chip, so you can customize your um, screen however you want to. There you go. Oops, wrong way. Take that back out. I didn't even want to pay attention. What am I? That goes like that. This goes like this. That's all I always used to do mine. All right, let's go ahead and put the top back on. In the back, magnet ties. Stays in there pretty good. Now, when this comes up, this is going to have um, your battery bars here, your ohms, and your voltage, and your wattage. You guys can see that right there. And how you skip through the CC mode and your stainless steel mode or whatever, you just click your fire button three times. Then you got your stainless steel, click it three times. Now you got your nickel three times. Now you got your titanium mode. And you got back to your wattage mode again. Now this is your up and down. So that's how fast it really goes. If you guys was wondering, doesn't go too fast, doesn't go too slow either. So let's go back to 75. That's where I wanted it at. Right there. All right. There's some um, cons about cons about this. Um, it is an older style looking box. It is an older style looking box. It's standard. It's kind of heavy, kind of sharp on the edge, and it does have some rattle in the buttons. You can, I don't know if you can hear that in the camera or not. And the back of it, if you push forward and down, it still has some clicking to it. So, not the best built mod out there, but it's number one sold as of right now. Alrighty, so I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna come back to me and I'm gonna show you what this thing can do. Alrighty, now I got this thing fired up and let's go get my um, Ethos by Expired sub ohm tank. This tank has done me very well. I can probably get a good week of a um, coil, not no burnt hits or nothing. Just a good solid week. And a lot of coils out there burn out less than a day. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Um, a lot of people recommend putting RDAs on this because it is a drag box. It's for the cloud chasers out there. but. I do like the sub ohm tanks, and this is only a 75 watt tank. The the like this right here came with the speeders, so this is what the coil comes in the, in the little thing right there. So I already got a new coil in that, and I'm gonna put the um, glass or not glass, but gloss e juice. This is taffy. This is only I don't know if this is only sold in my state or not. You can probably get online and look it up, but this is some killer juice. I bought this juice for uh, 26.95 at the store. It is a three mil taffy and it's a 75 milliliter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some in here. So this part come right here. This part on top of this comes right off. You just wondering about this bottle. You just pop it off like this and unscrew the top. Just regular regular bottle except for that top. So I'm gonna fill this bad boy up real quick and vape on there. Just vape on the mall. That's the star of the show right there. Alrighty, put that top back on there. Let's screw this top on. If you guys any um, if you guys got do you got Athos tanks, you do got to wash putting this cap back on the tank itself. If you put it caulk guided, it's gonna leak. It's make sure it's flush on top of your tank, cause you're gonna have a bad day if you don't. So it's gonna show you on the mod itself. It's gonna have a new coil or old coil, so it does give you the option. So I'm gonna say this new coil. So it keeps up the date of the coil of the resistance. So it put me back at 43 for some reason. So I'm gonna go back to 75 for the peak of the coil. I'm gonna have an open airflow and we're gonna vape on it. Mm. 
This thing hits right off the bat. There ain't no waiting, there ain't no ramp up time. It is right there, 75 watts into your lungs. There's, there is no relay to the button, to the battery, to your mouth. Mm. All right, guys. Well, I guess don't end this video. So I want to see 25 likes or 30 likes and 500 views on my channel, and I'm hopefully get up to 300 subscribers. So I definitely be happy. I probably throw like a celebration thing on my YouTube channel if I can get that many subscribers. And definitely go check out my channel at modstarking.com or modstarking. That's Instagram. Sorry about that. But go definitely check that channel out. Not channel, but my page. Um. All right, guys, that's all I got to say. Just subscribe, share, and comment the video. Peace out.